Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming Testing New Makeup episode 11. So I have some new makeup items to share with you guys. Some old makeup items, just a little bit of fun. So if you guys are interested, just keep watching. My channel welcome my name is Karen Harris I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube usually my channel focuses on eyeshadow palettes and I also have a passion for blush so yeah lots of blush lots of eyeshadow this is the place for you highly recommend subscribing turning on all post notifications and without further blabbering let's get into it okay so I'm barefaced we went to the library we went to Target I came home, my Sephora order was finally here. We have some new news, so I figured let me go ahead and film and chat and all of the things. So I don't have any makeup on and I do have my lotion on. So I've been trying to get better about using my primers and the best thing I know to do that or the best way I know to do that is to actually keep my primer in my filming drawer. So I'm just putting on a little bit of the glowish uh, what is this even called? It's the Blur Jam. And so I'm just putting some of this on and I'm trying really hard to just like press it in to my skin instead of like trying to blend it or like rub it in. And I usually put it like where I might need to fill in a few things. But the first thing that I'm honestly very excited to test out is the new shade I picked up in the Gucci foundation. So if you haven't seen, I think it's Testing New Makeup 9. I got the shade 270, which was such a disaster. And I wasn't going to repurchase in a different shade, but I was placing a Sephora order. So I was like, let me just go buy it. So I bought the shade 310N. And this is what it looks like. So let's see. It looks a little bit more promising. I wanted to bring down... The Gucci foundation that I have, the other formula, I have the shade 330 in that one, and that one seems a little dark for me, so I feel like that one's more my summer shade, so I'm curious to see how this will look once I blend it onto my face, and I really wanted to show you guys a comparison, but I'm gonna pull the pregnancy lady excuse and say I'm not going back upstairs, plus I swear... My kid has the hearing of like a puppy and as soon as I touch her baby gate to come upstairs after I'm done filming, it's like her automatic signal to wake up from her nap. So I'm just going to stay down here for as long as she naps and get some filming done. But I'm trying to think of what brand I got this sponge from because I swear this isn't part of the pattern, but you see... Like, it's got all these little lumps, and I'm like, what is this? Like, I should probably just throw this away just to be safe, but I don't feel like that's part of the pattern. I feel like it's doing something funky, but I have no clue. Anyway, let's go ahead and just use a sponge. I was going to use a brush, but... Oh, this feels like a way better shade match. So I'm happy about that. Makes me very, very happy. It does have a bit of warmth to it. Like this is supposed to be a neutral shade. I can definitely see some warmth to it, but I'll keep you posted. It's not bad though. Like it's not terribly orange. I think I saw my friend Angie posted saying she felt like this foundation oxidized. So let's see how it does when it dries down. So far it's giving me, I would say probably like a medium coverage, but I'm also using a sponge. So we'll see, we'll see. I'm so excited. I have a nail appointment today. I'm hoping nothing derails it, but I also try to remind myself that sometimes things just don't always go according to plan when you're the primary caretaker of a child. But the plan is that I get to drop Freya off with her dad and then go to my nail appointment in peace. <laughs> it takes a lot of coordinating, 
between the two of us, I'm always like in awe of how parents do it all, especially like big families. Anyway, I actually really like how this is looking right now. What a difference having the right shade makes. So far, I really like it. We'll see how it goes. I don't have a new concealer to try out, so I'm just gonna use something that I have in my makeup collection. I love using this unearthly brush to tap out my eyeshadow primer. It's really nice and dense and it has like that angled shape to it. I know it's technically considered like a concealer brush, but I love how dense it is for eyeshadow primer in case any of you cared. But I primed, I concealed, I put on my brows and I thought I could go ahead and break into this brush set. So this is the Kristen Dominique and Sigma brush set and these are all new brushes. So I'm totally excited to be playing with these. And here's what it looks like. They all come in their own little plastic sleeves. So I'm just taking these out. These look like Japanese handmade brushes, like with the way the ferrules are and like the beautiful white bristles. So yeah, this is so cool. They're all patented, patented, um, but yeah, I'm so excited to play with these. I did see Sigma has like a makeup artist that works with them and she like did like a full face with these brushes, but I don't think there's one that I would really use for foundation. There is a face contour. There's an all over face precision, setting powder, brighten and bake. Ooh, that sounds nice. I think I wanna use that for my under eyes. So do I have a powder? Yes, I have my Sigma powder that I'm just gonna use. Okay, so just taking some of the Sigma setting powder, which is my fave, and I'm just tapping this onto my under eyes. I also love to set like my nose because I'm always like tugging at my nose. These brushes are incredibly <laughs> soft. Holy smokes. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the forehead, a little bit right here and on the chin. Okay, so I don't have a new bronzer or anything to try out. So I'm just gonna use the face contour brush with this conceal and perfect in the shade Toffee from Milani. I am actually just trying to demo the brushes, not so much the products, but I will try and link everything down below. And you know, we can't test a new bronzer every single time we film these videos. So just gonna test something I already own. Okay, so I'm just using this brush to blend out the cream contour or the liquid contour. My hair just got stuck in there. That's kind of weird. Oh my goodness. Why is this happening? This does kind of dry fast-ish. So you gotta blend pretty quick. But I will go ahead and fix it with some powder bronzer. But yeah, this brush is so soft and I like how small it is too because it's nice for precision bronzer application and I think it'll be really nice with a powder bronzer. Okay, so the bronzer's looking hella dark, but I think once I get like my blush and stuff on, it'll work itself out. So let's play with eyeshadow first and then I like to pick out a blush and highlighter and stuff to go with the look so we can try some of these other brushes out later. There is a one eye and nose contour brush here, so that's pretty cool. I mean, this is like a really nice brush for nose contour, otherwise definitely for crease work as well. So we'll see, maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't. I'll keep you guys posted. So today I thought I would highlight my Cosmic Brushes palettes. The Muse palette's actually restocking on Saturday, so I'm hoping to get this video up for you guys. And I did do a first impressions video on this one, but I wasn't able to do more looks, which I want to. I don't know if they're restocking the Serenity, but I thought I would just bring all three out today. So here's the Serenity. And then this is the Royal Rose palette that they also sent me when they sent me the Muse palette. 
and I figured that I would play with this one because I saw the post and they said they're also going to have a few of these in stock. So let me go ahead and play with this one and I will link the other two videos below on the Serenity palette and the Muse palette in case you guys are interested in these. I am an affiliate with this brand so all three of these palettes were sent to me. I don't have to make this video but I just thought it would be fun to highlight these because they do sell out really fast. And I do have an affiliate code with the brand. It's KH Makeup so you will save some money off of your purchase and you don't have to use my code. Just use somebody's code to save money and if you do decide to use my code it does help my channel out and thank you so so much for that in advance. Okay so I've come to the conclusion that I might have to dip into a few of the palettes because I just can't make up my mind and I'm gonna blame it on pregnancy. Is that okay? Is that okay if I blame it on pregnancy? Okay I'm gonna dip into this shade called Legacy because Oh my god, it just looks so pretty and I just like need to put that on my crease. So I'm going to use the eye contour brush from this Dominique Cosmetics palette and I'm going to put that right into my crease. And I kind of want to keep it on the lower part of my crease because I want to blend it out with a minty blue shade. So I'm just kind of trying to blend and also like pack it on a little bit. But... I was thinking I was going to do a neutral look, but I changed my mind. I changed my mind. These brushes are so freaking soft and like, it's such a pretty color and it's so cliche because I'm a girl mom, but I just gravitate like towards pink now so much more. Although I did have a blush colored wedding dress, so I guess I've always kind of been into this kind of muted pink. And it's like Easter and all the things, so I don't know. I also really like wearing pink like shirts. But now that like spring is in the air, I just want to buy like all the colorful things. But I'm trying to remind myself like I'm pregnant and I can't really be wearing like I can still fit into most of my regular clothes like I buy a lot of like really baggy clothing that's like one thing about me. I hardly ever wear clothes that fit me. My husband always says like he's like you really need to just wear your size <laughs> but I love wearing graphic tees and honestly being pregnant through the winter is kind of way more depressing than the summertime. So I just live in like these like Amazon leggings that are super cheap and graphic tees, <laughs> specifically from H&M. I love buying graphic tees from H&M because they're so cheap. And like I will spend ridiculous money on makeup, but when it comes to Clothes, I want cheap clothes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that, but that blue built up so nicely. So I'm just cleaning off the brush and I want to go into this shade in the Serenity palette. It's called Echo and it's this really pretty like minty shade. So I'm just going to use the same brush and pick this up and we're just going to go on the outer edge of the shade Legacy and just blend that out a little bit. I still want you to be able to see skin between my brow and the crease. I don't love to take the colorful shadow all the way up to my brow bone because I like it to look like I have a little skin there. I don't know, it's this weird thing. I guess sometimes I put a shimmer there but I don't think I will this time but I'm just Blending those two shades and I really like how that looks. So now we need to deepen up the outer corner because that's my usual style. So since I'm trying to use this palette, I want to use this shade called Fantasy. It's like a purpley shade. So let's try that because the Serenity palette does have a navy blue in it, but I want to focus on this one. So 
I want to try and pull as many shades from this one as I can. So we're just gonna pack that on. My lips are just like tragically chapped. <laughs> it sucks. This purple is very pretty, but I was hoping for it to be a little bit darker. So let's see if I can layer on one more shadow on the outer corner. But I think I want to pick out a lid shade first. So I think I might use this shade called Tiffany. It looks like a really pretty like pinky shadow. Otherwise, I'm trying to think. There's like, ooh, maybe I'll try Luster from the Muse palette. That does look really pretty too. Okay, okay. What does Royal Rose look like? Oh, it's like a marble shadow. Okay. Ooh, that one's kind of pretty too. It's like a bit of a topper. Ooh, but Luster. Luster has more purple in it. Royal Rose is more pink. Okay, I think Luster. I think Luster won. Uh-oh. I'm so good at using the palettes I said I was going to use. But this is fun. I don't always mix palettes. But since these are all from the same brand, I thought it would be fine. The Muse palette is restocking. So that was kind of like one of my focuses of this video because I wanted to let you guys know and I wanted to do okay, more. The luster looks so beautiful. It's going on like this beautiful electric purpley shade. Just going to take the brush with the matte shadow on it and blend out that outer corner just a little bit. I almost feel like I shouldn't put any more shadow on the outer corner to deepen it up. I should just leave it because it looks cute and I don't need to deepen it up. I'm going to go into the shade Amethyst, which is like a shimmery purple in the Muse palette. And I'm just going to put that on the edge. That actually looks really cute too. Okay, so I use like what? Two shades from the Rose Metal. <laughs> A few shades from the other palettes too. So it was a real family effort on the part of the palettes, but we still have the lower lash line to play with. So maybe there's some hope there. Maybe we can put some more color into it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline with the Huda Creamy Coal Liners. I just got these, so I'm still like testing them out. And I can't remember if the black one stayed in my waterline because I did use it yesterday, but I'm kind of kicking myself because I'm not very good at noticing this stuff and I never really expect my eyeliner to stay put, which is not a good thing because like that one has a 24 hour claim, which I think is a little bit wild, but I should be paying better attention. I should be paying better attention. I'm feeling very spring. Oh, this shade looks so good. Valentine. Let's try it. It's like a neon looking color. It's like a pink. It's a hot pink. Ooh. Mm, so pigmented. Love it. I'm going to take a little bit of Legacy and just kind of blend it in a little bit to the outer corner so that it looks blended out there so it's not like too harsh of a color change and for the inner corner i'm trying to think what i want to do i'm kind of tempted to use this shade called highness and just do it like a matte yellow I feel like Angie would be very proud of me because I know she loves yellow. And I feel like she knows that I'm terrified of yellow because it never really stands out on my skin tone. But if I build it up, it'll look okay, I think. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just tapping it. <laughs> it's turning a little bit green where it's touching the blue. But I think if I leave it alone now, it'll be great. So 
yeah, kind of fun. I mean, you know, just trying something new. So for blush, I have two options because I'm a savage and both of these came at the same time. So we have the Vive Sunset Blush Bomb that I picked up because I was dying to try these. I have her powder blushes and they're so nice. And then I was like resisting the urge. Every time she comes out with a new product, I don't buy it. But I was really interested in the shade called Piazza. So I did pick it up from Cult Beauty. It did take a while to get to me. So we'll see. But it says on here that it's made in Italy. And I'm excited to try it. It's a luminous liquid blush. So if I don't try it in today's video, I'll try it in a different video. But I think this is like the neutrally color, which I think would look really cute with this look. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty much like a, a brown. I, I think I kind of blended it into my hand there, but I said I was gonna buy this blush the minute I saw it on the House Labs Instagram. So it's a very big, <laughs> that's what she said. Ah, this is the shade Watermelon Bliss and it's a red. Okay, I feel like I feel like we have to use watermelon bliss. So let's see, is there a cheek brush? Oh yes. We've got an angled cheek brush from Dominique Cosmetics and Sigma. So we're gonna go ahead and use it to apply. Okay, so I'm just taking this on the Sigma brush and I'm tapping it on. I'm trying to film a reel, a reel at the same time. So Forgive me if this comes out weird. Ooh, I think with the bronzer, it's looking a little muddy. But I'll try and fix it. I'll just put less on, I think. Oh, well, it's looking a little muddy. Very pigmented. I know that I love blush. I know some people are much more afraid of like bright blush colors. So you might wanna be a little cautious with this one, I think what I'm gonna do is take some setting powder and just try and blend it out a little bit because, yeah, it looks like I don't know how to do makeup right here and it's kind of making me mad. Oh, I think I'm not helping. Okay, I'll just leave it alone. But just know that the Sigma bronzer sabotaged me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, love that. The brushes are so nice. And then we don't have a highlighter brush. We just have an all over face precision brush left in a setting powder brush. These are kind of bigger. So I don't think I'm gonna use those for highlighter, but I think that's it as far as all of the new makeup I wanted to try. So I'll try the Vive blush in a different video, but I'm gonna set this vase, I'm gonna throw on a highlighter, throw on some mascara, figure out a lip color, and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay friends, so here is the finished look. I just wanna let you guys know what else is on my face today. And before I do that, I have to tell you guys about these earrings. I just picked them up at Target. I had been eyeing them on the Target website, but I wanted to see how big they were in person. And luckily my Target had them. They have some new jewelry out. I think it's the Sugar Fix Lions Spring Collection. So they've got some beautiful flowers. They've got some beautiful butterflies. So I will leave an affiliate link to these earrings if you guys are interested, but you guys should also check because they have some other really cute ones. And I always get comments on my earrings. So since these are actually in stock, I just wanted to make a special mention in case. And I also just want to mention my goat, which I think we're going to name her Pat my goat. Um, one of you guys suggested that name and I kind of love it, but I do have her linked in the description box as well, in case you're wondering from where to pick one up. But anyway, <laughs> Those are just two random, random things that I wanted to tell you guys, but this is the finished look. I love it. I'm totally in the mood for spring. Can you tell? Except for my black sweatshirt, but it is 
warm outside it's 40 degrees which is basically like North Dakota spring okay you can make fun of me all you want but it's the truth anyway I did put this lip combo together it's kind of random but I use this Il Maquillage pencil that they sent me forever ago it's like a hot orange shade I don't know what this is called but it's a waterproof lip liner oh it's called Fiji and then I just used the Lunar Beauty, this is the lip oil in the shade Love Me. I actually wore this in my last new testing makeup video, but I kind of just put it on at the end. So this time I'm actually wearing it with a lip liner and it's like a great spring lip. It's like a very vibrant lip oil with a really nice red tint to it. So really, really like the lip oils from Lunar Beauty. I also have one of these. These are the NYX Fat Lip Drips, Fat Lip Oils. I don't know what this is called. I have the shade Scrolling. I was maybe thinking of using this today, but I was feeling this very vibrant lip. So just randomly wanted to mention that because it was in my purse. So I wasn't able to include it in my February monthly haul that I already filmed. And then for highlighter, I decided to use the Pillow Talk Beauty Wand. And this is in the shade Pillow Talk. So have not used it in a hot second either, but those are the rest of the items on my face and I will link as much as I can down below. Some of those links might be affiliate links. I will also put any affiliate codes I have for you so you can save some money. And if you guys use my links, my codes, it helps me out, so thank you so much. Now let's talk about some of the new makeup items I played with today. So let's start off with this Sigma brush set. I think this is so nice. I mean, I don't know if you guys were expecting me to say something different, very soft, very nice, so well designed. I mean, they make some of my favorite brushes and I'm so grateful to be on their PR list because their brushes are definitely worth the money. I think this one retails for a hundred something dollars, but I mean, you saw the brushes, they're so, so nice. And they're always cruelty free and I believe they're always vegan. They also have a two year warranty. They will replace your brushes if anything happens to them. And in case you guys are new here, like super, super new here, I do have my own Sigma favorite set. So I always have it linked in my description box if you wanna take a peek at that. And I really like the brushes. So that is my first win of the day. And then the Gucci foundation, I'm honestly kind of excited for. Now that I have a shade that's like closer to my skin tone, I feel like I'm very, very excited to keep trying this. I've kind of decided that I don't love the other foundation, but I also feel like my taste in foundation has changed. I used to be into the dewy foundations, but now I'm kind of into the matte foundations. So I don't know if that's gonna swap again in the future, but I really love a matte look and I really like how this foundation is looking. It's not overly cakey. And I'm very curious to see if it like moves around a lot because the other foundation, I can't remember what that one is called, but the older foundation from Gucci is a little bit more emollient and I feel like it doesn't stay on as well. So I will compare the two and I will keep you guys posted, of course, in a future video. But yeah, I really like the foundation. And as far as the blush goes, this is a really nice packaging. I only have this one face product from House. I have her foundation in the white shade. I bought it to mix with my other foundations, but I haven't really felt the need to use it. I kind of regret buying that, but it's one of the only white foundations in Sephora. So I bought it during a Sephora sale. And I think it's too late to return it, which is fine, like whatever. But this is very, very pigmented. I'm excited to wear this again because like I said, I feel like the Sigma bronzer muddied it up a little bit. So I can't tell you exactly how I feel about it. It's promising. It's definitely very vibrant. So I went in with a very, very light hand because I can be pretty heavy handed with my blushes. And since this eye look is a lot, I want it to be a little bit more subtle. I will say kind of random, but I did put my Rare Beauty mascara that was sent to me into my like everyday makeup drawer. I did say that I didn't like this mascara, but this is my second time now trying a tube of this and I don't think it's as bad as I felt the first time. So I'm gonna keep trying it. I'm gonna give it some solid chances. So we'll see, maybe I will become a believer of Rare Beauty, but that's not like a new product. I did feature it though in a 
different testing new makeup and I just wanted to tell you guys that I was pleasantly surprised this time when I was doing my mascara I didn't do anything different so I don't know if it was just a fluke but I thought I'd mention it in case because I know there's a lot of devoted Rare Beauty mascara fans out there and then last but certainly not least of course is the Cosmic Brushes Royal Rose Palette and I'm so so excited that the brand sent this to me so I definitely plan on trying more looks with it but I just wanted to you know formulate some thoughts with it because I know I saw that they are going to have a few of those in stock. I of course love the Cosmic Brushes Serenity Palette. This was my number two palette of 2022 if you guys haven't seen my eyeshadow palette ranking video. I don't want to spoil it too much but Highly recommend checking it out. I think I posted it like a few days ago. So it's still pretty current on my YouTube channel. And then this is the palette that they're restocking. So definitely go ahead and check out my video on it. And you'll be able to see swatches and stuff. But all of their palettes are so, so incredible. And the price point is really, really nice as well. So if you're kind of balling on a budget, Highly recommend considering this brand. And I'm excited to see what else they have in store for 2023. So yeah, those are all of my thoughts on all the new makeup that I tested out. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts on these new products. Let me know if you've been eyeing any of them or let me know what you're using instead in case you're on a low buy or a no buy. You guys know I love chatting to you in my comments. I do have a testing new makeup 2023 playlist so I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards for you guys in case you want to check that out. And that is it for today's video. I will be back on my channel with three looks from the brand Game Beauty. I've been working on that video and I'm very proud of it. So I can't wait to share that with you guys and we'll see you on Monday for another new Makeup Monday episode as well. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Thank you always for supporting and I will talk to you soon. Bye!